So this video is probably going to be pretty short and that's mainly just because this process is that fast. Now if you haven't checked it out, I also have another constraint setup video on my YouTube channel that is utilizing the more traditional constraint setup that you would use in Maya. But we're actually going to be using Animbot for this. And if you don't know what Animbot is, it's a really strong suite of animation tools for Maya. And it has so many different tools in here that can really speed up your animation. So if you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend going to the Animbot website. Animbot does have a monthly payment. I believe you can get a 30 day free trial. I actually pay for the cheapest monthly payment, which I believe is the eco plan. But we're going to go ahead and just jump into the scene that we have here inside of Maya. You can see that if we move the elbow and rotate this hand around, the other hand is not following along that movement. So this is typically where you would bring in a constraint setup in Maya so that you can have the right hand here follow whatever the left hand is doing. But we're going to use Animbot to quickly set this up without using any constraint. So what we're going to do here is scrub forward a little bit and then maybe go to around frame 48 or so. And we'll come in here and we're actually just going to delete some of these keyframes. So I'm just going through here and I'm going to be deleting all of these keyframes up to around frame 56. I'll just delete all of these. So you'll notice that this animation is basically broken. So this hand is just traveling basically from one key post to the next. It's not following that sword. So obviously we broke this animation. So let's go over how we can use Animbot to actually have this right hand follow what the left hand is doing. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and bring my timeline down to where I actually want to set this up. So I'll go from frame 48 to, let's say, frame 55. We'll just do a really quick short setup here through this stab motion. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we select the wrist that we want to be driven by the other hand. So we're going to select that first, and then we'll shift select the left hand here. So we want to make sure that whatever we want to be the driver of the motion is what we select last. So we have that selected. All we need to do now is just hit this chain button here at the bottom of Animbot. We'll select that. And then what this is basically doing is just copying a relationship between these two objects here. If we hold Control and Alt, this allows us to use the shortcut for basically baking this information across whatever timeline area we have selected. So in this case, we have from frame 48 to 55. So it's going to bake all of this information down. If we select this, you'll see that it's going to bake this on ones. And then as we go through here, you'll see that the right hand is now following what the left hand is doing. So we're able to very quickly set up the same sort of constraint setup that you would get in Maya with really just not having to worry about some of the complexity that comes with setting up constraints, bringing in locators and that kind of thing. So we're able to just set this up really fast and have this follow the motion of the left hand. Now you'll notice though, if we come in here and we select this elbow here and rotate it, that hand is not actually attached to this motion. We've baked it down, but if we want to change this, we're going to have to do that all over again. And traditionally with a normal constraint setup, you would have the right arm always following what the left arm is doing. So if you actually want to go in here and adjust any keyframes, that hand would stay following along. And we can actually set this same thing up with Animbot. So we'll go back to frame 48 at the beginning. And all we need to do is select this up arrow and choose the auto X form relationship. So what this is going to do is give us that very similar system you would have with Maya's constraints. So if we select this wrist and rotate it, we now have that hand following along. And this is without setting up any type of constraint system in Maya. You can see how fast this is, how intuitive this is to very quickly make sure that you have your objects following another object. So say for example, you wanted the sword to follow the hand, you could utilize the same system. Or if you wanted, for example, a ball to stay locked inside a character's hand, you can utilize this X form relationship in Animbot to very quickly set that up. So hopefully this video was helpful for you and you'll be able to quickly set up a constraint system utilizing Animbot.